What medical condition do you have that you thought was absolutely normal? I thought that everyone saw the lines coming from bright lights at night. Basically halos or a glare around headlights. Nope. It's caused by astigmatism and I've known I have it but never knew about that. It's caused by your eyes not focusing the light correctly resulting in halos or glare around the light. Up until junior high, I didn't understand why people would freak out over how things smelled. Oh 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 these flowers smell amazing oh my god that fish is rotten or does anyone smell that? My smelling was this weird feeling of kinda like a temperature or pressure in my nose it's hard to explain. There just was a difference in the air that I wasn't smelling but could feel. Wasn't until I got nasal polyps removed that I understood. And boy was it overwhelming. Hum that sounds like what smelling is for me. I thought every woman had searing, stabbing pains in their pelvis all the time due to women problems and I was just being a little punk. No, I have endometriosis. My organs were fused together. Yeah, it took me forever to figure this one out. The correlated intestinal problems and random stabs in the not lady parts didn't help making this clearer. Endo is annoying. Dyspraxia thought I was just less coordinated than most people, but my nephew was diagnosed with it, at which point my mother told me oh, you were diagnosed with that when you were a kid too, would have been nice if someone had told me that there was a reason I was so clumsy. AI a fellow dyspraxic, everyone always thinks I mean to say dyslexia when it comes up. I thought it was normal to feel like your entire respiratory system was full of liquid capsaicin after an intense workout during 6th grade gym class. I have asthma. I have a Shatsky ring, a narrowing of the lower esophagus, which means I have to drink a lot of water with anything I eat to get it down, especially dry foods like bread. Otherwise food gets stuck in my esophagus and I end up in a lot of pain. Once when I was maybe 11 or 12, I watched a man eat an entire bagel without drinking anything and I was shocked. You can get that dilated. I ended up in the air thanks to some steak getting lodged in mine. They popped the steak into my stomach and dilated the ring so food doesn't get stuck anymore. I still won't eat without having a drink to wash it down though. Force of habit. Scoliosis. Awkward curvature of the spine. While I was growing up I would get yelled at a lot by my parents because I kept slouching over and tilting my head. They thought it was just teenager stuff and would always pull my shoulders back and tell me to walk like a man. Hey another scoliosis bro. My ears hardly have any cartilage. They're very soft. I never noticed that until a friend pinched them trying to get my attention when we were about 16. It was a revelation seeing that everyone else has hard ears. This is nothing compared to other comments in here, but I didn't know what heartburn was until after I graduated college. I described what I was feeling and my friend said are you serious that heartburn. He gave me a tums and my life was changed. I thought the dryness of my eyes was really normal until I found out that part of the reason they get dry so easily is that they don't close all the way. For some time now, I would sometimes, like, once every several months or so, yawn large enough that my jaw sort of gets stuck open. It always corrects itself within a few minutes, with a distinct feeling that the jaw was slipping back into place. Didn't think anything of it, just thought it was something that happens when you open your mouth that wide. Then it happened a few days ago while I was in the same room as my mother, a doctor. Turns out that no, this is not normal behavior for someone's jaw. It's something called temporomandibular joint dysfunction, or TMJ. Still doesn't seem like an incredibly pressing thing, but I'll certainly bring it up the next time I see my dentist. I had something like this growing up. My jaw would pop and sometimes lock. Dentist gave me some exercises that cleared it up. Push your lower jaw forward so your bottom teeth are in front of your upper teeth. Then open your mouth as tall as you can manage comfortably. Slowly close it again, making sure your jaw stays pushed forward. My sense of smell is rated 1 out of 5. 5 being normal. I always thought everyone was exaggerating smells of flowers or stinky messes. I've not been tested but it certainly seems like my sense of smell is significantly worse than those around me. Deviated septum. 95% of my right nostril was blocked. I never thought anything of it, sure, it whistled sometimes, and colds really sucked, but doesn't everyone's nose whistle sometimes, and don't colds suck like this for everyone? Turns out, 
The answer was no. Best part? The govt paid for the nose job due to the severe blockage. When I had the stints removed, it was a freaking life changing moment. I could breath out of my face. It was like colorblind people seeing the full spectrum for the first time. Life changing. And you don't know how you survived before without it. Now I take it for granted. As I do everything. I have hyperhidrosis. I didn't realize how much I sweat was abnormal enough to be a medical condition. It was miserable growing up and having sweat literally drip from your hands while you tried to write and not understanding why. I scrolled down so far to find this because I have that too and thought the same thing. I have always had ringing in my ears for as long as I remember and I thought everybody experienced it. I'd heard of tinnitus plenty of times but for some reason it was a while until the penny dropped. I've never heard complete silence because of the noise. Jesus, this thread is a hypochondriac's nightmare. I have OCD and did not get diagnosed until I was well into adulthood. My understanding of OCD was based on pop culture, so I had no idea that that's what my intrusive thoughts and compulsions were. But I am learning that things are abnormal all the time now. I relate to this. OCD is like having an abusive brain. I thought everyone's legs felt weird when they were tired at night. Finally had a roommate who said they stretched at night because they had jumpy leg aka restless leg syndrome. It's not as bad as it was when I was younger, but I spent many nights back then wishing I could stop moving my legs so I could go to sleep. Diabetes insipidus. Basically I drink more fluids in a day than most of you do in 3 or 4. At one point it was so bad I was drinking 6-7 liters of water a day. I know because I would fill up my 2 liter water bottle every 45 minutes. Drink it all and repeat. Oh and I would also, not exaggerating every 10 minutes color blindness to hear people's reactions i should totally know just by instinct how things are supposed to look and therefore how my vision is different pro tip a whole lot of color blind folks don't know they're color blind until somebody tests them and those tests may not happen until a relevant job application in adulthood you want to be a pilot or a police officer or join the military Sorry, you can't fulfill your dreams, even if you didn't know you were colorblind until this very moment. One testicle. I had no clue it wasn't normal growing up. Undescended as a child then it herniated and died. My body absorbed it, apparently. Didn't find out it wasn't normal until I was getting a physical. Just make sure you always mention it in your past medical history when visiting doctors BC there is an increased risk of testicular cancer later in life with this condition. Cryptorchidism. I'm not sure if it's a medical condition per se, but my second and third toes are fused together on both feet. My brother has this as well and my mom too. Just a little bit. I grew up thinking everyone had connected toes until one spring in middle school when everyone was wearing sandals. I literally shouted out in class, you guys don't have connected toes and everyone looked at me like I was insane. My second and third are fused a bit higher than the others, but it's only noticeable if it's pointed out, or like I did. Staring too long. It gives them a funny look emo. I have always felt cold. Not normal oh it's cold out cold, but holy crap I am freezing cold. I thought some people just handled the cold better than others. Turns out it is one of the symptoms for severe anemia. Thanks to iron infusions every 3 months, I still feel cold, but not the I think I maybe are freezing to death cold. Oh foo luck. I should probably have a chat with my doctor. A minor case of hypospadias. I have two holes in my dong instead of one. The 2D one is very close and there's a thin wall of skin in between. It looks so natural I never questioned its existence and I just figured one was for P and one for C men. Then last year I read about it on Reddit and had my WTF moment. I am also 34. Lupus. My doctor always told me that the constant pain and fatigue was just part of growing up. Then they said the pain in my chest and shortness of breath was anxiety and I was just fishing for attention. Surprise. I was short of breath because lupus made the lining of my lungs swell and made my heart enlarge when I was having an outbreak. Ten years later it's finally under control. Thanks to one doctor who told me being tired and in pain every minute of every day was not normal. I thought your throat, mouth, and lips were supposed to hurt after eating fruits like apples and pears. Nope. Just allergic.
This is how I felt about cookies with tree nuts in them. I just thought the nuts would scratch your throat to crap and make it itchy. Didn't understand why people love tree nuts so much. Cataplexy. It's the hallmark symptom of narcolepsy, but most people don't know it actually has a large range of presentation. I remember talking about a YouTube video to my friend and described it as one of those super funny ones that makes your face stop working. Apparently I didn't realize it wasn't normal to have your face droop and your head become too heavy to hold up if you laugh too hard. After being diagnosed with narcolepsy, I began to notice a few other things. Constantly dropping things wasn't just me being clumsy. Going completely limp on amusement park rides and slurring my words whenever I laughed wasn't normal either. I am so sorry for laughing, but the way you worded this was humorous and made the situation much more lighthearted. I'm really happy you got answers and I hope things have gotten better. Walked around with a broken back for 4 years being convinced crippling pain was the norm before finding out that wasn't normal at 12 to 16 years old. I spent 9 months thinking I was getting older and now have back pain. Found out I had a fracture in my back. Took nearly 2 years to become nearly pain free after that. Feeling like a stranger in my body, like I was pushed war AIII back within my own head and perceiving the world as if I was looking through a cinema screen, with the deep conviction that the world around me was fictional. Happened quite a lot, but I figured it was normal. It wasn't. T was schizophrenia. I get that occasionally. Thankfully not a lot. I have lupus and with that comes Raynaud's syndrome. My hands and feet turn completely white when cold or stressed and then blow purple. I thought it was normal. Precordial catch syndrome. Random stabbing chest pains and an inability to breathe for about 20 seconds then just disappears. I thought it happened to everyone. Apparently the membrane around your heart gets caught on your lung, then it has to detach itself. Totally harmless, I think I'm dying every time. I hate this. It's just like a little bubble that needs to pop. I think if I breathe deep enough it will pop, but I can't breathe that hard because it hurts so bad. I have ventricular tachycardia. Basically, my heart has an extra spark plug, and without medication it beats about twice as fast as it should. I first noticed it in high school and thought HM I'm not sure if my heart should be beating this fast, but I was an idiot and did nothing about it. I didn't feel any symptoms, so I thought I was fine. Then one day I felt really short of breath going up a flight of stairs and almost passed out. So my dad rushed me to the air. When we arrived and the EKG results came in, the staff absolutely flipped out and sprinted a crash cart into my room. That was the most terrified I've ever been. I should probably be dead. If you think something is going on with your heart, get it looked at immediately. Bipolar disorder. I figured everybody thought about killing themselves from time to time, and any time anything went wrong. This impression was strengthened when going on an antidepressant helped but didn't make it go away entirely. Things are different now that I'm on a mood stabilizer. Voluntary nystagmus. Which basically means I can shake my eyes back and forth super quickly. Found out it wasn't common in grade school, but my daughter can do it too. I also found out it has a whole subreddit, R.I. Shookers. Thought the bloating and urge to crap your pants was a normal trade-off for eating dairy, like how some peppers can be painfully spicy, until an ex of mine pointed out I was probably lactose intolerant. Doctor confirmed it, told me to stay the heck away from cheese. I was 18. To be fair, I had mentioned it several times to my mom growing up, who is also lactose intolerant but still eats dairy and suffers through it, and she just assumed I knew what lactose intolerance was and brushed it off as something else. I was homeschooled though, so not sure where else she'd assume I'd learn that. Ibs, I thought everybody had diarrhea every day. Same. Imagine how shocked I was when I found out other people don't constantly switch back and forth between constipation and diarrhea. Wild. You have been visited by the distinguished doggo of delicious delicacies. Comment tasty supper, pupper and be blessed with delectable dishes for the next decade. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.